What's up guys, Mitchell here from uh, Forum Designs, and now I am going to teach you guys how to make a basic wallpaper for your computer. First, first of all, we are going to change it to your screen resolution, so mine is 1366 by 768, so we X this out. This is the render setting right here, so now we have the render box for our wallpaper so let's zoom out a bit alright now we add a floor by going to this button right here that looks like a light with four arrows coming out we add a floor bring it up a little and that'll create a layer so then we go to MoGraph MoText that'll put a text layer so bring that up above the floor so then we go to object and then we type in whatever we want. I'm just going to type in forum. And then it changes. So we go to font dot 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 to change the font. I'm just going to choose uh, Magnum. Alright. So let's bring that forward by using the Z axis. And then zoom in. Alright. So let's move it so it's centered a little bit. Alright, so now we change the depth to 80 or 60 if you want. Let's do 60. And then that will create the, a more 3D part of it. Let's rename the layer. Alright, go to caps right here. And then change these to fillet caps. This will give it a nice like edge layer. Alright, so now that's done. Now we create another layer by holding control and then hold it down, having a side arrow. And then we move it up so then it creates a down arrow. So then it's the, this is more like a tab. So then you can just close it and open it. So you go to the copy layer, change the depth to half of it, half of the uh, main layer. So that will create that. This is this will be us creating an outline of the text. So you go to caps, fillet cap, again, change it to seven. All right. So that will create the outline. Move it, move it back using the Z axis, and then that'll create a more outlined part. So now, what we want to do is find the color scheme so right now I'm just gonna use red move it to red oh to get here you have to double click in this area so then we go to reflection let's give it a nice reflection here but give it 10 alright and then let's get a color for the outline we'll make that black so then Oh, not reflection. Go to color, click on the color box, drag it down the black. Alright, so now we go, let's give this a glow. So we go to glow. <coughs> Alright, so now we <laughs> had to sneeze. Alright, so you go to glow, and now we give a nice glow to it. So we change the outer strength to, let's say, 100. Alright, so now we take this color, drag it onto the top layer. The top layer is this one right here. You'll see how it goes to all of them just because this is a tab. To fix that, we take the next color, drag it into the uh, layer that's the tab of it. And that will create the outline. So let's move it. And then let's rotate it by using this tool right here. Click left click and hold it to uh, rotate let's go above it a little bit alright center it alright so let's get a uh, color for the floor go to color go to I'm just gonna choose white and let's choose a let's make a reflection on it use let's do let's just do 60 60 makes that so then we drag that on to the floor 
and then let's pre-render it using this little like action thing this will pre-render it but not actually save it so you can just see how how it looks when it's done so let's press that and now that's looking pretty good so then let's zoom it in a little bit center it alright now we are gonna add a light so we click on this again the uh, light thing with four arrows let's create a light now it's all dark we just move it back on the blue arrow move it back until we get to where we want let's, wait, wait. let's move it up a little bit alright let's move it to the right using the red arrow move it back and then let's change the intensity to about 80 alright so then we bring it up alright and then let's see how that looks using the pre-render and that is looking pretty good so then now we'll add a lens flare to it by going to light the light thing again add a light bring it forward so you see a little star see it's under the floor right now so we bring it up and then till we see a little star in front of the text see there's there's a star so let's bring it up bring it to the end of the forum and then we, let's change this intensity to about 80 80 again so then we go to lens or right here of this light and then we go to glow and then choose I'm just gonna choose artifact it creates that kind of pattern right there so then now if we render this it has a little lens flare right there so then let's just center this or rotate it a little bit bring it up just so it looks good alright let's see how this looks alright that's pretty good right now let's sh let's make the floor a little more reflective so click on the color that you've made the floor and then change it to 75 now let's render that yeah see there's a reflection right there and then we just have to render it now so go to this right here the action button with like the list obviously change it to your screen resolution like I said in the beginning of the video now go to frame rate or no that's just for intros never mind don't do that that's for intros alright go to save choose where you want to save it I'm just gonna change it to where I save all my pictures let's go alright forum designs I'm just gonna change this to forum wallpaper alright save now go to format change it to PNG that will make it a picture file if you don't change it it will just save it as a cinema 4d file alright so all the settings are good just double check it a little bit and then that's the render settings so then now to render it we click this button right here the action button with the orange box around it click on that and then it will render in this box and bigger files will take a really long time on Cinema 4D like especially making intros and stuff cause uh, you really need a like better and good hard drive on your computer just to render a 10 second intro alright guys so that is your basic desktop wallpaper for your for 3d text and that's how you outline it with that border alright guys peace